Hey everyone, Dave Sports Cards here, back in another video. I don't have a break for you guys today. Not, It's not a collection video. I mean, it sort of is, but it's kind of not. It's more of a uh, my top 10 non-autograph relic or patches cards. Uh, a lot of people usually show off when they do a top 10. It's usually autographs, relics, patches, stuff like that. Uh, this, this is basically for not autographs and relics and, and patches. Um... Mainly focusing on parallels and base cards, but uh, yeah, let's just get right to it. Uh, in the number ten spot, three of these, 2012 Topps Chrome Bryce Harper rookie, pretty cool card. And I want to say these are selling for about twenty bucks a piece, so that's not bad. That's pretty cool. Pulled them back in 2012, and they've been sitting in the box ever since. But I try to hold on to a lot of the rookie stuff that I uh, that I pull. I've I've sold a lot of stuff that I regret, but uh, that, that's another video for another day. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, number ten spot is these 2012 Topps Chrome Bryce Harper. In the number nine spot, I'm glad to finally see these making a presence. Uh, 2010 Bowman Platinum Mike Trout. These are selling for about twenty-five bucks a piece. I've I pulled all these. I I've had I probably at one time had seven of these and a bunch of the purples, probably four of the purples. But um, I think people are finally getting priced out of his two thousand eleven Bowman stuff and Top stuff. So I think they're starting to look more at these. I've actually been waiting on that for a couple of years now to happen, and uh, it's finally happening. So about twenty five bucks a piece on these, so pretty cool. Glad to have these still. Number that was number nine spot. Number eight spot. Two thousand seventeen Bowman Mega. I think they call him the Mojo Refractor. Uh, Ronald Acuna. At one point, this was selling for about fifty or sixty bucks. It's it's down to twenty five. Uh, I think it went down to twenty, and it's it's kind of been creeping up. I think. But yeah, pretty pretty looking card. I like it. Pulled that out of uh, Mega Box last year. Actually, I have the video up on uh, on my channel here. But uh, that's the number eight spot. Number seven spot. Twenty fourteen Triple Threads Max Scherzer Ruby Parallel One of One. I want to say I got this for around twenty bucks, if that. Uh, I got this for an insane price back in two thousand fourteen. It's worth more now, but. Probably about 50 bucks now, so. Pretty cool card. I do have the complete rainbow for this. All of them. And what was that? Number seven. Yeah. In the number six spot <clears throat> is the 2017 Max Scherzer. Uh, these are the 1987 refractors from the silver packs. One of one. Black one of one. About 50 to 55 on this one. So pretty cool. I don't have the complete rainbow, still working on it. But pretty cool. I like that card. And uh, the number five? Yeah, number five spot. I pulled this uh well, about seven years ago. And I just kinda sat in a box ever since until uh I kinda rediscovered it. 2011 Tops Update JD Martinez Walmart Blue Border. And that is pretty cool. Uh, this one's selling for about fifty bucks now, <laughs> which is, which is pretty cool. Really nice card. Um, I could probably submit it to back it. It probably would get a nine, but um, uh, service at Beckett kind of sucks right now. So, yeah. But, yeah, J.D. Martinez, Blue Border, pretty cool. Uh, the number four spot is going to be 2,000 tops traded. Miguel, Cabr <laughs> Miguel Cabrera graded a 9.5 rookie card. So, pretty cool. Had this one a long time. I'm sure you guys have seen this one. Uh, this one's, oh, about 55 bucks. Used to be worth more, but 
Yeah. Alright, now these next couple of cards have uh, really... Well, actually these next two are, are pretty surprising. Um, considering one of these cards I had sitting in a box for for years, because it used to be like a 50 cent common uh, a few years back. But uh, in the number three spot, a 2012 Topps Heritage Mike Trout base card. This is a sweet card. The only issue with it is that corner right there. Some whiting on that corner. Well, on that one. That's the problem with uh, this type of card stock. Um, I know for a fact. I did a purge probably about f five years ago of um, the massive amount of doubles and triples and quadruples and everything after that. Yeah, there's a chance I got rid of a couple of these Mike Trouts. Uh, number three spot because they're selling for about $60 to $65 right now. So, pretty surprising. Actually, I remember a few months ago when this was maybe selling for $20. Bucks. So, it's it's gone up a lot. But, I'm glad I at least still have one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 2012 Tops Heritage Mike Trout. Uh, and this next one, I've been waiting for these to go off for a while now, and it finally happened. 2010 Bowman Platinum Mike Trout Purple Refractor. And these are selling 70 to 75 finally. So I, I want to say I sold a couple of these in the $40 range a couple years ago. It didn't, they weren't, they hadn't really been moving at all in value, but they're finally starting to uh, to move. So it's the last one I got left. So I plan on keeping it. But, and in the number one spot, I'm sure you guys have seen this one before. It is just a uh, base card. But my 1909 Tops 206 Roy Elam. Uh, this was considered a hit in the box of uh, 2002 Tops 206 I opened. But uh, like I said, this is non autographs and relics, so this qualifies. But I, I want to say it's probably around 60 or so. Not as valuable as the Mike Trout, but uh, I kind of put it in the number one spot because of the, uh, the nostalgia of it. I mean, look at those stains. <laughs> He's even got a pinhole right in his elbow right there. This card's all stained. But it's a cool card. So, there you guys have it. It's kind of my uh, my top 10 non-autographs and relics. Um, nothing crazy, you know, nothing like amazingly spectacular, like a 2011 Topps Update Mike Trout BGS 10. But, uh, you know, I, I, I like them. I'm, I'm happy I kept some of the stuff I did, uh, like those Platinum Trouts and at least one of those Heritage Trouts. But, um, yeah, it's kind of neat going through... Going through old boxes and finding parallels and finding cards, and you're like, wow, no way. You know, that card's selling for how much now? But, uh, because I've had that recently. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, maybe I'll do, um, a rookies video, like, uh, with, uh, some of my top rookie cards. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next one.